Diaz standing in our way. I had an arsenal in front of me, but Diaz made it clear. He told me to run point on the ground. He was curious to see me think on my feet. In a way, he was acting as your training. Diaz wanted me to earn the name Dead Killer. <laughs> and there's really only one way you can do that. I had support that day, but when you're out there in the real world, you're on your own. No backup, no reinforcements. Just you and the undead. I'd show him I was worthy of the name.
The Katardis base of operations was just ahead. Once we were inside, we'd be able to figure out what they were planning. What, what's happening? I, I can't... Stay with me. Come back to my voice. I can't. I, do, I don't understand. Tell me what happened. I, I, I saw... I don't know. I saw robots and they were... They, they were ripping me apart. What's happening to me? What was I seeing? It is a lapse. Your mind is wandering into the unknown. Your subconscious finding fears, dreams, doubts. Stay with me. Stay with my voice. You're still in the factory. You were about to make a discovery. We... I, I, yes, yes, uh, there was a console head. And Diaz told me to interface to get access to their network. We had to find out what they were planning. Had you ever extracted information with your DNI before? No. Nothing can really prepare you for it. The flood of data, endless streams of infinite information. It's instantaneous, and it's an eternity. What did it show you? The Cotardus had a contact, an inside man at Coalescence World Headquarters in Zurich. We had his address, ID number, security details, the last of which was most telling. He had extensive security clearance at Coalescence. Specifically, he had access to 6115, the virus. Then let us do just that. Let us find him. Take me to his apartment. <laughs> 